hello welcome in previous video i have created integration with one parameter so in this video i will create integration in which we will get a request from user while running that integration and i will use that request values in integration so let's first create the integration just for creating the integration come to integration page and just click on that create enter the name so i will give the name as hello world app driven integration 03 okay so now so we can't use a space over here so integration hello world integration okay so if give the package name so i will use ad okay oic zad app driven for that so okay click on next so here we have to add one endpoint so that using the endpoint we can get the request while running this integration so in earlier video in previous video i have created that parameter integration right so in this video i will add okay let's first add the rest adapter so that it can start or it can trigger the integration so give the name start rest next here i will give the name value as print hello and here so in previous video i have used this add and review parameter option to add a parameter in integration so right now we will not add parameter we will use request request body of for this integration for making request body we should use we have to use that post option post function right so once you will get or use post you will get one option to configure the request payload so select here tick you will get this request visible so here this request option is visible so now here we have to select the schema of that request so in which schema user will give the request so here i will select json because json is very simple and easy to configure easy to uh, for user also that's why we will use json so here we have two option first option we can upload the file request file or second option we can use inline so here what we have to do is that here we will we need to write the json structure of the request so here if you will see i have to so what i have to do first i will write here so i i want two parameter right two request value from user so suppose i have to use p underscore name one okay name one and i want users would enter the name one value so suppose for testing purpose i am giving error okay and i have to use another that's why i have given comma and i will use same okay but i will use name two and here suppose i have given any name zafar okay so in request payload i have only two uh, two request parameters so i will i have selected here only two and this is the structure of json json structure right so i will copy this thing and here i will paste and click on okay if your payload format will be okay completed or uh, like correct you will not get error and your value will be saved here here if you will collect here you can see that okay so here we can upload the same file we can create this file as a json and we can upload the same over here also right so in next video i will use that upload json file okay as a request so okay just click next and that's it the request and point is configured just done so here you can see that in this integration i have not added response payload right that's why it's empty it's generally only two endpoint this is the start endpoint this is the stop or end endpoint okay so now between this we have to add logger message so again i will come here i will drag this log i will use allowable logger 01 and create so in previous video i have shown you that like how you can Con use concrete function to concrete the value okay so in previous video we have seen so what kind of message i want to show so to the user in logger so i want to show like something like that hi hi this value this and this this and i will show her something like that this is my third integration with request re, request payloads 
something like that I want to saw in logger so how we will do so here we have concurrent function so here if you will see this is our one value this is another and this will be considered as another value and this will be another so I will use something like that so here just come to integration use concurrent c o n c a t you can use concurrent function direct our writing here else you can search here concat and you can drag this function over here okay so in integration we have given some function that function can be used while mapping while use while uh, in our integration so here in first string i will remove and first i required high okay and a space and then the second we required that this value right this name so here if you will see earlier we have the parameter over here but right now we have request wrapper right so here we do we have two values p name one p name two these all are coming from this request payload okay p num p num to here i will drag p num so here high it will show p num and then i want to show the message like and okay so a space and and a space and even I need to show this to second user okay I will drag here and now after that what I need to do I need to use these things right so this thing so I will select this complete one copy and here I will paste okay so I have to end this by double quotes and now you can validate so you can see that once this will validated it will completed you can see that without any error you can see that hi pname 1 and pname 2 and this is the third indication something like that so just close here again validate here just close so our integration is completed so in, in this integration what we are going to do is that we are going to take request from user while running this integration and we are using that request in logger message and then integration will be end so just click on save and close so before closing we have to enable the tracing variable right so that it will not create a right now this error is only because of this tracing variable so in tracing variable we can use anything we can use this parameter value we can use second parameter value even we can use this one also like last time we discussed right so here one issue you will get regularly like if you will configure this payload so here right so once you will drag here if you will try to save it will generate error because this two will not be same can't be same so here change anything right so save so here this is completed integration so save and close so our integration is completed now the step is to activate this integration so as our integration completed successfully without any error so right now this is in a state configure states okay so let us activate this integration so here we have already enabled just activate and yeah it will take some time to activate so just refresh again yeah now you can see this is activated okay so just click here and test so earlier if you will see we have one parameter in previous video we have added one parameter that's why that parameter is showing here but right now we don't have parameter because we have not added parameter we have added request so that request will be visible in body section so when you will come here in body you can see that this is the pname one parameter pname two parameter and this is the value of parameter so by default Aaron and Zephyr is coming because we have added here Aaron and Zephyr in the dummy structure so we can change here it also right suppose user 1 and I have given user 2 and just run so if you will click on run it will execute this integration so here you can see that right now in logger nothing is there because it will take some time to load so just re reload again and after some time you will able to see the values here you can see that we are able to see hi user one this value and user two this is my third integration if suppose i will change user one to aaron and user two to zephyr zephyr and just try to test again so it will show that hi aaron and zephyr this is my third integration something like that so reload again because it's taking some time to like load the log messages here you can see that hi Aaron and Zephyr so you can see that in this video in this integration we have created an integration which takes one request body from user and we are going to use that request in our integration 
so i will create next video in that video i will show you how you can get the request from user and you can res return back the response so right now we don't have any response right because we have not configured the response but in next video we will configure the response also so thank you so much for watching if you like the way i am explaining you if you like this video don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching